What makes a serial killer a serial killer? Well, the definition of a serial killer is a person who commits a series of murders, often with no apparent motive, and typically following a characteristic or predictable behaviour pattern. Most people know of serial killers, but do they really? Serial killers are quite rare, so most people only know them from TV shows or movies, and don't really see them as murderers that are as normal as your neighbour. The main problem with serial killers is that it is very hard to catch them, because their crimes usually have no obvious motive to link them to the crime, but they usually do have an MO. MO is short for modus operandi, and means a way of operating. An example is Ted Bundy. His MO was leading females into his car before killing them. The Zodiac Killer's MO was to first kill his victims before leaving a letter with a symbol on it. So finding serial killers, especially those who keep their identities a secret, can be quite difficult, which is why it is understandable that scientists are trying to find other ways to identify them. Scientists try to find a certain gene that could be found in serial killers to link them all together. If this were a real gene, then scientists would be able to identify future serial killers from the day they were born, and be able to monitor them, if this were true. The thing is, there isn't a specific gene, so to say. It is a lack of or unusual mutation that makes them a problem. MAOA is a gene that is responsible for regulating mood, emotion, sleep, and appetite, making it hard to control your emotions. When a mutation is present, it is nicknamed the warrior gene, because if you have a mutation, or a low amount of it, it can be challenging to control impulses, including those of violence. Though this sounds like the gene that the scientists were looking for, it's not exactly what they wanted. Though the gene is found in a lot of serial killers, it is not a definite answer, so if you have it, you don't have to worry. But if you have suffered childhood trauma and have the gene, it can be a bad sign considering this is even more common among serial killers. The gene is inherited and is almost exclusively found in men. Because it is a mutation that makes you predisposed to violence, the people that can miss less violent crimes like theft do not have the gene very often at all. There is another gene known as the serial killer gene. It is the CDH13 gene. Interestingly enough, this gene wasn't originally known to cause violence, but to increase the likelihood of disorders like depression, ADHD, substance abuse, autism and schizophrenia, among others. Recently, it has been found to also increase violent behaviour. Like the MAOA gene, everyone has this gene, but it is a specific mutation that makes it a risk. So, are serial killer genes real? Well, yes, but not in the way you might have first thought. Thank you.